Hi guys, this is Renee from iteachblogging.com, Renee Grosskreutz, and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite co-schedule features. It is social templates. Social templates are beautiful. So here's the deal. If you don't know what co-schedule is, it is a premium WordPress plugin. That means it costs money, but it is a calendar plugin on steroids because what it does is it allows you to schedule your social media for your blog posts straight inside of your WordPress dashboard. It is truly an incredible tool and they keep making it better. And one of the things that they've done to make it better is social templates. So normally when you're scheduling your social media, what you're probably most familiar with is scheduling a tweet one at a time, a Facebook update one at a time, a LinkedIn update one at a time, a Pinterest update, a Google Plus update, you get the idea, right? which is fine if you have a really great tool like CoSchedule, you can do that one at a time right here and it's fantastic and it's great and it's fast. But if you wanna do it even faster than that, you can create a template that says, hey, I want to do three tweets to these three accounts and this is how I want it to go. And then in two days I want it to go to Facebook and in three days I want it to go to um, LinkedIn and in four days I wanted to go to Twitter again and in five days I wanted to go to Google Plus. Whatever it is that you can imagine that you would like your schedule to be so that it's being shared over across social media multiple times and to different platforms on a schedule, right? And you can decide whatever that is you want it to be. But the cool thing is, and I'm going to show you this, how it works, and then I'm going to um, show you how to set one up, all right? So here we go. Let's say I have, a, I have one scheduled right here, same day blast, I'm gonna click apply. So let's back up, let me show you what I did. I have it installed, of course, go schedule. I came down here, this is my WordPress blog. If you notice, it's empty because I use Thrive Content Builder, so there's content, it's just, you can't see it right here. So don't freak out or worry about that. So I'm here at my co-schedule piece, click on this. And then I'm going to say same day blast and I'm going to click apply. It's going to do some things. I can say, do I want it to go out today? Do I want this schedule to start one day from now? A custom date, how would I like it to do? I'm going to say one day from now and I'm going to click apply. Now you're thinking what just happened, right? Well, I had created a template. Let's look at it. Tomorrow, which is one day from now, it's going to go out to my Facebook page my tw a Twitter account that I have, I have multiple Twitter accounts associated to this, a LinkedIn, another Twitter account, another Twitter account, and another Twitter account. I didn't have to do anything but click one button and it did all of that for me. It pulled in the title and I have Bitly associated so it um, used the Bitly link. If I wanted to change something, all I would do is come here, click on edit. I could type in maybe add a hashtag if I wanted to, um, WordPress, tutorial. I could say more, of course, because I have 48 characters left. It's really handy. It tells me that, which is really, really helpful. This is exactly what it's going to look like. And I can say save. Now, that's really great. It gets even better. I mean, I have so many of these set up. For example, just let me just show you one more. I have all these print Pinterest group boards and I don't want to go to all of the group boards on Pinterest in one day, but I also don't want to manually upload them all. So I'm going to say apply. And I'm going to say as of three days from now, and I'm going to hit apply and check this out. On November 14th, it's going to go to Pinterest. November 15th, it's going to go to Pinterest. November 17th, November 19th, November 20th. Check that out. That was really super simple because I had done all the work up front. So how do you set one of these up? Well, it takes a little bit of time and a little bit of thought, but here's what you do. Okay, so click on this button. Click on new template, create new, name it, test, say next. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna say on the same day that the blog post is published, okay? I think that's very important, or the day that you choose it. All right, I'm going to say I want it to go to a couple of Twitter accounts that day. I'm going to say that I want it to be an image post. And I'm going to leave it at same day. And I'm going to let them choose the best time. I'm going to say add message. 
Then the day after, I'm going to send it to my Facebook page. I'm going to leave it as a link and a title where it'll pull up the image just like that. And I'm going to say add message. Then I could say, and let's pick a couple of more Twitter accounts. Three days after, best time. So let's go back to that. So three days after. Now let's, let's think about this for a second. This is three days after the first publish, okay? So not three days from now, but three days after the first publish. So that's something you have to think about because here's one day one, day two, day three. Click on add message. And you can just keep scheduling that out in a pattern that makes sense for you and your social media. And you just keep going and you keep going until you're done. And then you hit, we've already named it. Right, I called it test. Sometimes I forget to name it. That's why I had to scroll up and check. And then hit close. And if I wanted to use that social template, I would scroll down here and I would hit apply. And I would choose what day I wanted all of that to be active. And I would hit apply. And as you can see, this now has a ton of social media scheduled for it, promotions that I never have to think about again. So this is such a truly, truly fantastic tool that saves me so much time. Trying to schedule all of this social media and some other social media tool, can you, you, you should know how long that would have taken. So I hope that this helped you guys and I hope that the tutorial made a little bit of sense. So just click on this. You choose new template, you create your template. And by the way, it, it's gonna take some clicking around. It's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. Don't expect your first day to just be boom, boom, boom. And also I highly recommend that you spend a little bit of time writing down your schedule in advance, thinking about what it is that you want to happen. Like whenever I did my, um, my Pinterest group board, I really had to sit down and think about when do I want them to go out? How, what groups do I want them to go to when? And just really schedule that out in advance. And it really helped me a lot. So great tool here. Highly recommend it. That's all for this video and blog on.